Walker and 3,000 current hospitalizations. Lawyers for the family of Tristan Vereen, the man who was shot and killed by a state trooper after a chase a few weeks ago, say that the family is not getting the answers it deserves from investigators. News 13's Manny Martinez reports tonight from Conway, where the family held a news conference this afternoon. We are here demanding one thing and one thing only, justice and accountability. Lawyers representing the family of Tristan Vereen called for transparency. The 33-year-old Vereen died a day after he was shot in the chest by state trooper W.B. Benton. Police say Vereen led Benton on a short chase, bit the trooper, and grabbed his taser. SLED is investigating the incident, but the family wants answers now. Why the taser? Why did he need to chase him down and tase him? And then even after he had already, Benton had already tased Tristan Vereen, why did he feel the need to shoot him and, and ultimately killing him? The family and the attorneys are focusing on the reason Trooper Benton wanted to pull Vereen over. They say it was because of a cracked windshield. We asked the solicitor, Jimmy Harris, Jimmy Richardson, if he can provide us with the information to show us a traffic violation. I have not received an email as such, considering he is the chief law enforcement officer of Horry County. I would think he would at minimum know the laws of South Carolina. 15th Circuit Solicitor Jimmy Richardson responded. He says he's waiting for the complete report from SLED. I don't doubt for a second it wasn't a, a, the reason for the stop, but I've got nothing to base that on. He hasn't told me that. I haven't seen a report of that. I'm not saying that they're telling a story on that. I'm just saying that I don't know that, and it would be an assumption for me to believe that. And Trooper Benton had previously faced allegations of excessive and unreasonable force. That's another one of the things that the family's attorneys pointed out in today's news conference. Well, Manny, what did you learn late today about that claim? Well, the Vereen's attorneys, they pointed to a lawsuit filed in 2016 in Florence County. It centered around, quote, improper deployment of a taser by Trooper Benton. And records show the case settled in 2017 for about $70,000. You can read the entire lawsuit for yourself on our website tonight at WBTW.com. I'm live in Conway, Manny Martinez, News 13.